so today on my beautiful kitchen I'm gonna be making some hamburgers my recipe hamburgers uh, homemade all from scratch I got four pounds of about 80% um, I don't know I'm sorry 90% lean uh, beef I, have, I put barbecue sauce in it onion powder uh, hamburger seasoning Lowry seasoned salt, minced garlic, some mustard, and sugar. That's right, sugar, secret ingredient. No one knows about it. Well, now you do, now you all do. Anyways, I also put eggs in my, in my uh, hamburgers, but today I'm gonna skip it because I don't have any. So, so we're gonna make this ingredients, or this uh, recipe without eggs. So sugar, this is a half cup container. So I have about, um, oh, maybe a, a third if that but remember this is four pounds so I got about a third of a cup for four pounds of sugar um, maybe a quarter cup of mustard dang what you know about that probably not much uh, probably a quarter cup of minced garlic pay no attention to the baby crying in the background <laughs> Pay no attention to the baby. Uh, we have about uh, three tablespoons, uh, probably about four tablespoons of Lowry's seasoned salt or Johnny's, whatever you want. This, I think this is actually Johnny's. We just put it in the Lowry's container. The, um, this is a McCormick uh, hamburger, hamburger seasoning. Can someone tell that baby to stop crying? And I had about a quarter cup of, of seasoning. Okay, quarter cup. Next, I have about um, maybe two tablespoons of onion powder. Onion powder. And a half a cup of barbecue sauce. If you like spicy food, find a spicy barbecue sauce and, uh, and hook it up. Right? Be, be aware that if you're cooking for other people, it could be too hot. Sometimes that's just the way it is, right? So if you're going to some my house, you might get some hot, uh, spicy hamburgers that's all right though so now that i have all my ingredients in there i'm going to mix it up hand mix it do a really good job getting it all thoroughly mixed in use gloves i i uh, certainly recommend using gloves it makes cleanup a lot easier also uh, less less um chances for bacteria to spread and and so on and so forth but so remember i i normally would have for this much meat i would have for sure put in at least two eggs but I didn't put any in today because I don't have any and you don't need them but they do a great job of binding your meat together so it is not um, it doesn't fall through the grill all right it does a pretty good job holding all of this ingredients together um, having some eggs in there raw eggs so mix it up really well if you notice that your uh, meat after you're done mixing it thoroughly is still pretty uh, pretty dry feel free to add some more ingredients right add some more uh, mustard or some barbecue sauce For me, this is a little dry so I'm probably gonna put another um, Half a cup of barbecue sauce into this uh, Batch you can see I mean, it looks like as if I didn't really put anything in here and there was plenty of liquids in here So I'm gonna add a little bit more to it at least a half a cup. Remember, this is four pounds of lean, 90% lean um, ground beef. And so this is how I start. And I'll come back and show you guys a little bit more later on as I finish getting through it. All right, thank you for watching. Stay tuned, I'll be back in just a little bit. Okay, so you guys saw me put some more barbecue sauce into my batch of uh, ground beef. It's really important that when you guys are portioning out your ground beef, you realize you compensate for the shrinkage that it has on the grill. All right, so you want to make your hamburger patties, uh, you know, a nice size because they are going to shrink. Okay, and so now remember, I have really small hands, so this it makes it look like this is really big, but um, but don't forget, you know, I, I have real tiny hands. So there's one hamburger patty. <laughs> All right, I'm joking. <laughs> but for real, this is what I do about as far as portion goes, right? I, I, I grab like a handful 
and I just kind of pull off whatever is excess beyond my fingers, right? And that's about the size of one hamburger patty. Roll it up nice and tight to get all of the, um, the seasoning that, that might be uh, on the outside mixed in pretty good, pretty well. And then flatten it down, right? Flatten it down pretty good, and boom, there you go, there's one, right? So I'm gonna grab another one. Again, remove the excess um, meat from the fingers. Roll it up, pat it down, boom, there's two. So I get it, they're not completely symmetric, and they're not exact weight, but that's okay. Uh, you know, different, different size burgers is okay. You have some people that eat more, some eat less, but, um, but it's close. Also, I like to make them a little bit larger than the bun that I'm going to put them on. So that's really important that you realize how big your buns are because you are gonna, they are going to shrink a little bit. So, you know, rather than having a bun that's this size and you make a patty that size, it's going to shrink quite a bit. So you got to make sure that you realize how big your buns are and how big you want your patties to be when you roll them out. Okay. Um, another thing that's something to consider is that um, the the fat content. If you have a patty that has, or if you buy ground beef that is real high in fat, let's say like 70% lean, which is 30% fat, that's going to shrink a lot in the barbecue, right? So you're going to have a lot of that fat that just exits the burger as it grills it up and it's going to get pretty small on the grill. So keep that in mind when you're, when you're barbecuing or when you're buying your meat, how much you're actually paying for meat, right? You pay a lot for a lot of the fat, but that fat goes right through the grill and into the, into the fire. So you don't even eat it, which is healthier, but you are paying for it and you're not really uh, ingesting it, which is probably beneficial. All right, so now you see a few of them done. I'll come back at you when I get them all done and get them ready to take it off of the grill. Thanks for watching, you guys. Stay tuned, I'll be right back. So you can see, these are pretty large patties. I, I flattened them out to about a third pound each, almost a third pound. So you got one pound here, one pound here, about a pound here, and then I made another pound out of, I don't know, out of five other patties. So they're approximately a third pound, anywhere from a third to maybe a little bit more, but ultimately, that's what they come out to. Right, they are going to shrink. You can see the size of the buns that we have that we're using. Right, so these are a little bit bigger than the buns, but they will shrink to the size of the buns. So keep that in mind when you guys are doing your barbecuing. If you're if you do a homemade style and you're making your own patty, that's really important. I'm going to brush some of our, our mild barbecue sauce over the top of all of these, and then lay them on the grill face down with barbecue sauce down. Then I'm going to lather the top of them. Let them sit. You really only have to flip them one time. If you should happen to mess up, then you might have to flip them a few times, but ultimately one time should do the trick. Um, if you like cheese on or in your patties, go ahead and cut up some little cheese bits, roll them in there when you're, when you're actually flattening them out and then, uh, you know, set them up and you can barbecue with the cheese in there. I'm not doing that this time, but ultimately that's just a little tip. So thanks again for watching you guys. I'll come back and show you a little bit once, once we're outside, actually throwing these on the grill. So stay tuned. All right, so we now have some barbecue sauce. I'm just gonna base them over the top of our um, our burgers. Let the let the mop do do its job. If you guys have um, uh, a little rubber one, those tend to do a better job on this. This mop is great for like ribs and steaks and stuff like that, but it, it still does a, an okay job. Uh, there are better utensils, but I just didn't have one that I can find. So depending on how you guys like yours, um, if you like it heavy with sauce, if you like it real liquidy, then get crazy, right? If you like it dry, uh, so just so you can have more of the, the meat, the rich meat flavor, well then use less sauce, all right? But you really can't go wrong with either way. It's just a matter of preference. But this is going to be a great way to, um, to top this meat um, while it's on the grill. Alright. So stay tuned. I'll show you out, outside. <clears throat> Alright guys. So now we're outside. 
ready to go, get going. You can see I got the charcoal rocking and rolling here. It's nice and hot. Disperse it a little bit. Whew, that's warm. Okay, so now we got our charcoal going. Don't forget, I already lathered the top side of this with barbecue sauce. You can see it's all, all nice and moist. So we're just gonna take these and distribute them across the grill. This side has the barbecue sauce and that's the side that goes down. Slap those suckers on there. my ones that are lighter that are thinner on this outer area it has less charcoal so it's hotter it's uh, not as hot and I'm gonna put my head my uh, thicker ones right over the meat of the fire no pun intended so that we can get a uh, can get them cooked a lot better and now with them on there I'm gonna pour some barbecue sauce over the top of them so I can mop down the top side of um, the burgers. Oh yeah, baby. You know, the only thing that this video is missing at this point is the smell app. Oh, I wish you guys could smell it. it smells amazing. It really does. I mean, I am just saying that, but it's also true. So I mentioned to you, like, you really only need to flip these things one time. However, remember I said, keep in mind, sometimes you might have to move them around because of the, um, the flame, right? If the flame's too hot, you don't want them burnt. So you might have to reposition them so that they're not burning in the middle of your cook. Now this is with 90% lean meat. If you cook with, if you buy uh, 80 or 70% lean meat, you're gonna have a whole lot more flare up because of the um, because of the amount of fat that's in that in those uh, that meat. So now I've been cooking my burgers for about, I don't know, 10 minutes or so. Um, they do get pretty dark, but that's because I have a lot of uh, barbecue sauce on there. The meat itself is not what you see that's burnt. It's barbecue sauce. It's nice and charred. It's got a really nice bark to it. But the, uh, the meat itself, if anything, is still medium rare, or medium. And, um, you know, there's still plenty of juice in there, as you can see. Now, I just showed you only just to show you that if you push down you can squeeze out some of that fat and get the flare up some people like that some people do that all the time I don't and I certainly don't recommend it I just did to show you um, the reason I don't do it is because all that fat that's in there that, that squeezes out that's your flavoring that's where all of that good flavor and that meat comes from is, is inside that, that fat inside those juices and so if you squeeze all of that out then of course you are uh, you get rid of all of that all of that flavor uh, do a little sauteed mushrooms on the grill. Let the grill do its magic. And so I cooked these for about 10 minutes. I removed them from the flame as I got some flare ups. And then I went and I grabbed a little squirt bottle. But I removed them from the flames to prevent the, uh, the overcooking of the burgers. And then once the flames died down, um, I mellowed out the, the flame by closing off the flute down below and, uh, and then I put the burgers back on the, on the grill. 
So they finished cooking. It only takes about 10 minutes uh, for about, I think I did 17 burgers. Four, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I think fourteen burgers, fourteen burgers, and uh, you know only took about ten minutes. And so, it's nice, simple, it's easy. Um, as soon as I get done here, when we get back inside, I'll come back and show you all the condiments and everything else that we prepare for these wonderful, world famous burgers. Well, they are kind of world famous because I'm on YouTube, and people in Germany see my stuff. So, world famous. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll come back and show you guys in just a little bit. All right, so we're all done cooking our burgers. And you can see when you pan down here how dark how dark dark they are and, and shiny. This is the, uh, the barbecue sauce I was telling you about when I was outside. Um, the meat itself is absolutely perfect, right? I sauteed some, some mushrooms. These are going to be great on the, the burgers. Uh, we got some hamburger buns and you can see as you remember how big they were when I started Let me show you real quick the size of the meat compared to the bun All right, so pretty much a, a perfect size hamburger because they they shrink quite a bit All right, so if you like your uh, buns toasted and then go ahead and throw them on the grill um, I like to put some lettuce tomatoes onions and avocado on mine along with some mustard and mayonnaise, maybe some ketchup. So whatever your, uh, your preference is, uh, enjoy. I hope this was helpful. I hope you guys try it yourself. Please feel free to post some comments. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to share and subscribe. Um, once again, I really appreciate you guys taking a look at my, uh, my videos and, uh, and keep coming back for, for some more videos in the future. Thanks so much, take care. All right, so here's the, the final end product. We got some sauteed mushrooms, burgers, toasted buns, if you like that kind of stuff. Some cheese, both cheddar and pepper jack. And then of course, all of our beautiful fixings. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time. Please hang up and try again.